discombobulating your foe is also a good way to avoid being a snake's dinner. Like the brightly coloured tongue of the skink, this frill-necked lizard has a built-in anatomical shock factor. When threatened, he opens his mouth wide and erects a huge scaly membrane that frames his head. While some snakes, like the taipan and eastern brown, are ready biters, many are actually cautious about attacking. They don't want to risk an injury that might compromise their ability to feed, so they select their prey carefully. Looking big and aggressive might just be enough to put off an attacker. Both males and females have the neck frills. This one is keeping an eye out for predators on a cycad plant. Known as living fossils, DNA studies have found the cycad species living now to be around 10 million years old, a long time for any one species to remain on Earth. Their earliest ancestors were around long before dinosaurs ruled the planet, and fossil records suggest they probably dominated the ancient forests. Most are long-lived and slow-growing. For the frill-necked lizard, the plant makes a handy perch and a good vantage point. The lace monitor, one of the lizard family known as goannas in Australia, can reach six and a half feet in length and 33 pounds in weight. This is a true carnivore in its own right. When fully grown, the goanna is capable of killing koalas and small kangaroos. It can even take on a snake. Like a snake, it can unhinge its jaws to envelop large prey. Also like a snake, it has a deeply forked tongue that it flicks in and out, sending the chemical messages it picks up to the Jacobson's organ in its mouth. The goanna's teeth are sharp and curved backwards, like a python's, making it hard for prey to escape. It likes to climb trees, where it can keep an eye on its surroundings. The trees are also a good place for the smaller monitors to escape ground-based venomous snakes called elapids. Although some elapids are good climbers, most are uncomfortable going too high. Up here, the goanna can investigate any likely hollows where it might find food. Insects, mammals, nesting birds, and even carrion 